Good evening, I'm Anand Narsiman. Every time the city of Mumbai has been struck by terror, and it has happened so often in the recent past, Mumbai has only stood right back up, not just faster, but stronger, more resolute than before. The firm determination to not allow the perpetrators of terror even an inch burning strong. We at times now salute Mumbai's indomitable spirit, but are also aware that their patience is wearing thin. मुंबई का जनजीवन सवेरे से चालू हो गया है और ये सब आतंकवादियों को हमने बता दिया है कि तुम कितने ही इतने जिन्होंने हमले कर दो हम यहाँ पे रुकने वाले नहीं है और हम ऐसे हमलों से डरने वाले नहीं है हम स्कूल स्कूल जाने के लिए तैयार हैं और जिसने भी ये बम ब्लास्ट किया है उससे हम डरेंगे नहीं उनका हौसला बुलंद नहीं करेंगे इसलिए हम नहीं डरेंगे और स्कूल जाएंगे And then also people are just going out, doing their routine work. So definitely it's a spirit of Mumbai. The people are rising now, they are awakening. I don't think this is this can carry on ahead, much ahead. I mean, okay, all these anti-terrorist groups and all are going to be short time now. Yes, I am ready to go to school, and I am not afraid of any bomb blast and any terrorist. <laughs> Always moving, always walking, indomitable spirit of Mumbai, that is never say die. That is the spirit we're talking about. But is it on the wane? Is it now resilience or is it just the compulsion because of lack of any other choice? Do Mumbai curse? Does the city of Mumbai have any other choice? We've got our reporters Deep Pal and uh, Jugal Puroi joining us with the ground reality a day after the terror strike in uh, Mumbai, that bloody Wednesday. We are also taking your calls and we'd want to know your opinion. Is it resilience? Is it the indomitable spirit of Mumbai? Or is it a compulsion now that you don't have a choice but just to move on? As we take your calls, let's get a quick update. We've, we've got Sanjeevni already on the line from Mumbai. Yes, Sanjeevni, what's your thought? Yes, I'm Marathi. Say, say, say. Yes, I'm in a meeting. I'm in a Balkan meeting. And I'm in a news. But I'm not sure if I'm in a Balkan. 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 I'm not sure if I'm in a Mumbai. आणि दुसरी गोष्ट असं वाटलं की महागाईमुळे तर लोक मरतच आहेत आता स्फोट होऊन मरू देत जे होईल ते होईल आम्ही गाडीत बसलो पण आम्हाला दुसऱ्या क्षणी असं वाटलं की आता स्फोट झाला तरी आम्ही ठीक आहे जसं आमची आता जशी सरकारची इच्छा आहे किंवा जी देवाची इच्छा असेल तसं होऊन जाऊ देत There you see, that is what Sanjeevni is saying, that the immediate reaction was, what's the big deal? This happens every day in Mumbai. If people are dying, let them die. There are too many people in the city already. That is the reaction she got around her. That is what Sanjeevni is trying to say. Jugal, this is shocking. Are these similar sentiments that you heard down uh, at the ground at the site? Times now. Yes, Anand, and let me also tell you that I've been covering uh, Mumbai for a while now, and after every blast, uh, it is the favorite expression of the politicians actually to assuage the anger, and they just say that they salute the spirit of Mumbai. Now, let me not waste any more time, but ask people on the ground whether it is the spirit or is it a lack of compul a lack of option. Uh, Farid Bhai, who's a social worker, but ye kya ye spirit hai ya hamare paas koi bas option hi nahi hai ki hume bounce back hona hi padta hai. नहीं स्प्रिट तो हो सकती है देखिए ये स्प्रिट मेरे अंदर हो सकती है मैं एक यंग एडल्ट हूँ मैं फेस कर सकता हूँ सिचुएशन को कुछ एबनॉर्मल सिचुएशन हो जाए तो मैं अपने आप को बचा सकता हूँ लेकिन मुझे एक बात बताइए मैं पेरेंट भी हूँ ऐसे बच्चों का जो स्कूल जाते हैं कल रात से मेरे बच्चों ने जब मुझसे सवाल पूछा कि कल सुबह हम स्कूल जाएं कि नहीं जाएं तो मेरे पास इसका कोई सही जवाब नहीं था प्रिंसिपल का वहाँ से एस आया फोन आया कि सुबह में आप न्यूज़ पेपर देखिए पढ़िएगा टी चैनल देखिएगा और जैसा वातावरण हो वैसा आप कीजिएगा तो मैं समझता हूँ कि ये किसी के लिए भले बहादुरी हो सकती है आप इसे कुछ भी नाम दे दीजिए 
लेकिन ये इस देश की आर्थिक राजधानी है मुंबई हम में से हर मुंबई वासी इस बात के लिए वो मजबूर है चाहे रोज आना ही इसे हाथ से क्यों ना हो लेकिन हम इस बात के लिए मजबूर है कि हम अपने घरों से निकले और अपना अपना काम करें so there you have it anand people saying that uh, yes, there is absolutely uh, no doubt that there is a spirit involved here but there is a limit to it and uh, that not every time can the politicians get away by simply saluting the so called spirit of mumbai anand absolutely mumbai is airing its voice we got another caller ravi chavla calling in from the city itself uh, yes ravi what's your thought see my thought is that instead of giving 5 lakhs to the near ones of people who died uh, the 5 lakhs should be given to the injured because they are going to suffer all their lives and 50000 is not enough uh 5 lakhs going into the hands of somebody uh, it's a windfall for the people who are connected with the family but i think people who suffer all their lives deserve at least 5 lakhs fair point ravi but no amount of compensation is enough for somebody who's lost their near and dear uh, deep what have you got at your end you are at dadar one of the blast sites that was at kabutur khana what's the uh, what's the feeling down on ground there anand in fact you were here 24 hours back and if you came here you would possibly say that life does go on but the basic question that we are raising today if this is a compulsion or if this is that the much touted the much uh, Uh, prided in resilience of mumbai let's speak to some of the people who i have met and i will let you make your own decision i have with me a lady who came to her brother who has a shop here about 20 50 meters away from the place where the blast took place aap aaj apne bhai ko yahan dekhne aayi log bar bar kehte hain ki mumbai mein jitna bhi blast ho jo kuch bhi ho sab theek ho jata hai log phir se kaam karna shuru kar dete hain ha magar mujhe lagta hai ki abhi ki mere zamane mein to aise blast hote hain magar aapke zamane mein upar se girenge blast तो वो देखना वो बहुत भारी पड़ेगा आप लोगों के लिए क्योंकि पूरे ये बड़े जो राजनेता हैं ये हाँ, सारे आगे कहते हैं हाँ हाँ मुंबई में लोग बड़े हाँ, अच्छे हैं फिर हाँ, से आप सुनते रहिए मगर आपके जमाने में जब मेरे उम्र के आप होंगे तब तो ऊपर से ब्लास्ट होगा तो बहुत तकलीफ होगी आप लोगों को तो हमको तो मालूम पड़ता है दूसरे दिन हम आना जाना चालू कर देते हैं वो बड़े बड़े ब्लास्ट गिरेंगे तब क्या होगा मुझे नहीं मालूम क्यों हम आना जाना चालू कर देते हैं क्योंकि और कोई उपाय नहीं पूरी है ना सब आना जाना नहीं होता है तो घर में बैठ के क्या करेंगे ना किसी की सिंपत्ति ले सकते हैं किसी को मदद कर सकते हैं इसलिए बाहर तो निकलना निकलना ही पड़ता है बम्बई में तो बाहर तो निकलना ही पड़ता है दैट इज द बेसिक थिंग शी सेज थिंग और देखो पूरा दुनिया में ऐसी जगह कहीं नहीं है कि मौत ना आए कहीं भी रहो पूरा दुनिया में ऐसी जगह नहीं है कि मौत ना आए कहीं भी आ सकती है अभी हम बात करते हैं और वो बिल्कुल ठीक है बाहर तो आना ही पड़ता है शी से कंटिन्यू विद अर वर्क वी हैव मोर पीपल विद अस ये जो लोग कहते हैं ये जो लोग कहते हैं बार बार कि मुंबई में कुछ भी हो जाए फिर से काम शुरू हो जाता है क्या लगता है आपको सुनते हैं जो इसका रीजन है साहब हम 200-300 रुपया कमाने वाले अगर हम डेली काम नहीं करेंगे तो हम अपने बीवी बच्चों को या परिवार को नहीं रख सकते हैं तो हमको मेरी मजबूरी है डेली रोड पर आना खतरों से खेलना आज जहाँ बम रिसोर्ट होता है हमको अगर उसके प्लेस में दूसरे तीसरे दिन दुकान खुलती तो हमको काम पे आना पड़ता है ये हमारी मजबूरी है सर एंड से खतरों से खेलना जब ये कहते हैं खतरों से खेलना ही बेसिकली मीन टू ट्रेवल टू हिज वर्क प्लेस एंड इट डजेंट बेसिक सेंस ऑफ सिक्योरिटी आन दैट बेसिक पॉइंट दैट इज अच्छा अब किस बारे में पूछ रहे हैं जी We, Deep, we I'll come back to you in just people, a bit. We'll come back. Yeah, we'll come back to you in just a bit. So the 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 balance or the tilt is going towards compulsion. It's not resilience. It's compulsion. It's the fact that you have to go out of step out of your house if you are uh, living in Mumbai. Let's listen to what A K Patel has to say. He's called in. He's also a Mumbai car. Yes, Mr. Patel. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is my statement? There is no political wing like Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel. Huh? In this political wing. Right? Yeah. so there is a anger in the mumbai cars uh, it is it is libel anger and the the chidambaram home minister of india as uh, a person from banking and finance sophisticated mm. person is not doing enough for this uh, uh, terrorist attack and rahul gandhi is taking the political science tuition from mr digvijay singh is giving rubbish statement in this moment this is not proper Right, right, Mr. Patel. We are, we understand your ire against the politicians rather than uh, walking the talk. They're just making uh, bones and locking horns with the opposition. That's what you claim. Let's listen to what Wing Commander Ashok Kumar from Bangalore has to say. Ah, uh, I will. Shall I start? Yes, please Hello? go ahead. Yes, please go ahead. Uh, see, as for earlier news from our earlier terrorist attack, either they have originated from Pakistan or has been supported by Pakistan. Our government is very weak and has never. Has not had, did not have any policy or strategy to counter this terrorism. Our honourable 
Home Minister says that there was no intelligence. If that, if there was no intelligence, is that not an intelligence failure? Our Honorable Prime Minister and Home Minister has got no strategy and no policy to counter this terrorist attacks. Well, fair point, Wing Commander Ashok Kumar.